Hello everybody, SpireFan2003 here, and welcome back to another video. Today marks a very special day. Today marks the 25th anniversary of the very first movie I ever watched, Toy Story! And also, some of you may be asking, but yes, I have moved, that's why some things look a little different, and you're just gonna kinda have to get used to this. But, without further ado, I originally I was gonna do it just a review of the first film, but then I decided I'll just do my history of the franchise, because I have a decent bit I could say about it. So, let's begin! So our story begins with the very first film in the series, Toy Story 1, where I first saw it airing on TV. What station, I don't remember, but it was probably either ABC Family, which is now Freeform, or Disney Channel. It was one of those two. I mean, to be fair, I don't really think it would have been any of the other ones. But still, I remember seeing this TV airing back when I was like four, and I'd never really seen a movie up to that point. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. It was the first time I saw anything related to Disney, Pixar, anything, and I just loved it. And I wanted to see it multiple times after, so when I saw the DVD at a Walmart that my parents brought me to, I begged for that DVD. But, when I saw that Toy Story 1 DVD, right next to it was a DVD called Toy Story 2. I didn't know what a sequel was at the time, I was like, wait, there's a second one of these? I gotta get it. So, uh, we ended up with both DVDs, which I can't pull out right now, because not everything's out of storage by the point this is coming out. Um, but yeah, we I watched the second movie, also loved it. In fact, I loved it even more than the first movie, even though I'm way more nostalgic for the first film, but that's a different topic. But yeah, I loved both films, I really liked it. Though, even though I loved both films, I didn't really have much merchandise at the time, because this was like 2008, 2009, there wasn't really too much. Toy Story merchandise as there hadn't been a film in over 10 years at that point, but things will change when the next film in the franchise, Toy Story 3. Oh my goodness, Toy Story 3. What didn't I have that was Toy Story 3? I had Toy Story 3 t-shirts, Toy Story 3 coloring books, Toy Story 3 Legos, Toy Story 3 DVD, had the Toy Story 3 video game on DS, should probably play the console version, because it probably is way cooler, but I've only ever owned the DS version. Oh, and yeah, Toy Story 3 Toys. <laughs> yeah, this would be the first time I actually collected toys, even though I mentioned like I was earlier, which is also toys. But still, having real toys of the characters. Sadly, I never got any of the Thinkway ones that they promoted, even though I really wanted them. Uh, but, you know, money kind of got in the way of that, and also I almost never found them in stores anyway. Um, but yeah, I got, like, the action figures of the characters, and they were pretty cool. And I also got some really weird small ones, which I don't remember what they're called. And I think I had a Toy Story 3 poster, too. I don't remember, but I have a memory of having one. But yeah, Toy Story 3, I collected so much just relating to that film, and I did not go see it in theaters. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, you were probably being like, oh yeah, he saw it in theaters and loved it. Uh, I did not see it in theaters, because I was like, 2020, 2010, I was like 7 or 8, and I didn't really feel like bringing me to a theater. Like, my first experience with a Pixar movie in theaters would actually be the next year, and yeah, you know what movie's next, even though I actually like the movie from the year after 2010, I'm not gonna say what it is, but still, yeah, um... Yeah, after Toy Story 3 came out, um, not really too much happened afterwards, I mean, I saw, uh, I'm trying to think, I saw some advert, some, like, old, went back and watched some, like, those bumpers, like, the Toy Story treats that aired, like, with ABC, I think, back in, like, the 90s for the first film, and I guess I caught up on a few of the interviews that were on my DVDs, because I actually decided to watch them for once, but, I don't know, it's kind of how it started out after... All the big stuff for three. But, you know, there's still one movie left. Toy Story 4, I also did not see in theaters, but this time I honestly didn't really care. Yeah, it's kind of like, really? You're making a fourth film? And, um, I was not really looking forward to it as I'd seen The Incredibles 2 and Unpopular Opinion Time. I don't like the movie. 
Not saying like I hate it or anything, but eh, I'm not really into that film compared to the first film. Especially because the first film is like one of my favorite movies of all time. But anyway, yeah, Toy Story 4, I was not looking forward to. You know, I didn't collect anything related to it. Um, But, you know, I, you know, I still eventually watched it when they got it on, when my when we got it on Blu-ray, and, um, it was, I guess I don't, like, hate the film, but, eh, I don't really give a crap about it. It's like, love the first three, fourth one's kinda, eh, it's fine, you know, I kinda ran its course, in my opinion, because one, the movie is extremely unnecessary, uh, Forky, I actually find fine, um, I don't know, I don't really care for Bo Peep in the movie, to be fair, Bo Peep is never a character I really cared for. Sorry to all two of the Bo Peep fans watching. And I will also say that I did not really like Ducky and Bunny. I know that's probably going to be a very unpopular opinion, but I found them extremely annoying. <sighs> but yeah, that ends off the Toy Story retrospective. I'm sorry if this video is a little short, but I kind of didn't want to waste too many people's time with a video about this, so... Um, thank you all for watching my little retrospective for the Toy Story saga and, like, my history with the brand. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.